Hi, welcome to Opsmex Spinnaker series. Uh, in this video series, we're going to see how to create uh, AWS EC2 accounts, like manage and managing accounts in an automated way using um, CloudFormation. So in my previous video, we have seen uh, creating manage and managing account in a manual method. Uh, we will see how to create them the same uh, way of accounts in an automated way. So um, the, we have written a blog, which is over here. And I'll give you the blog uh, URL in the YouTube description. So the first thing you have to do is you have to click and download a file, which is a template file to the local machine. So uh, simply click here and uh, save uh, the file called managing.yaml and save it, which I've already saved it in my local machine under desktop. So under desktop, the this file is already saved. So I'm going to simply cancel this. So once you uh, save this file, uh, you open that file. So it's in the desktop right now. And I'm going to open it with my uh, um, editor, which is called. So yeah, this is the file, which um, which is in the plain YAML format. So if you see here, um, we're going to create, uh, first, uh, we're going to create a VPC, and we're going to assign a 16 um, CIDR VPC and each VPC will have a subnet and the subnet is 11 and 10 subnet which is 10 or 100 or series so this will create a VPC and attach uh, two subnet under the VPCs and then uh, it will create IAM roles which is assume role base IA role so the similar one whatever we had created in the previous video it is all created using in an automated way using the YAML file so let's say uh, you have more than uh, one uh, accounts to manage. So the line number 170, you can have more managed account. So in our case, we already know what is our account name. So you can simply replace it here or you can add more account. So, 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 so simply copy paste your account and uh, save it over here. So this is the account and save it. And now I'm gonna close this file now go to your Amazon EC2 console, select services, and search for cloud formation. Cloud formation. So this is something like um, you will create uh, all your automated way a kind of stack. So simply click on create stack. E excuse me about the dog barking because it's late while I'm recording this video. So. Um, so let's get started. So go to create stack tab and um, select the upload template since we already have the template under the desktop. So go to desktop and managing account. And uh, next, and you're gonna enter the stack name. So go to the blog and here we had mentioned about the stack name also. So the stack name is spinnaker managing infrastructure setup. So copying the name, go to the stack name and enter. And then you can see whatever uh, you were uh, able, you were seeing on the YAML file, you can see that uh, public uh, subnet one, public subnet two and the VPCs and all. And I'm not gonna create any users because the users is already created in my previous video. So I'm gonna select false for that. And next, so we don't have any IAM rules right now because it is all embedded inside the stack itself simply scroll down and select next and uh, you can see all the confirmation stuff and scroll down to the very bottom click i acknowledge and then create stack so this will create the entire uh, managing setup for for ec2 and if you go to resources you can see them what are the roles it is creating and what are the network uh, subnet it is creating I'm gonna pause for a while because it's gonna take about like a minute or so. So once everything is completed, I'm gonna resume it. All right, so uh, all the resources and everything is created and I can see it is in a complete state. So if you go to your stacks and select for the managing account, you can see the status is create completed. Get inside it and if you go to the outputs, you need some values to it. So if you see here, auth earn, which is a spinnaker auth role and account ID, everything is created right now. So take a note of all these details. Let's say uh, we need to take a uh, details about auth earn details. So I'm gonna copy this one and uh, save it in my uh, notepad. 
and you also need the account details so in my previous video I have shown how to get the account uh, details if you are not sure how to do it please watch my previous video so this is the account details so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a managed account so go to your uh, um, Spinnaker Opsimex blog so we had created so far all uh, managing account we're gonna create the managed account right now and we have a template for that so click click here to download the template again which will download uh, the managed account so save it there and I'm gonna save it on the same uh, desktop location and save let me open that file it's uh, managed one I'm gonna open it using the same code editor so this is the managed one and uh, we're gonna have the policy called spinnaker managed and the policies and everything so um, if you see here uh, these are the power it, it's gonna use the power user access uh, uh, for, for the spinnaker manage so using this account you're gonna create resources in EC2 with spinnaker so yeah so we had a look at this it's fine so close it and uh, go to your uh, cloud formation click on stack and you're gonna create a new stack right now and uh, upload a template and this time it is managed account so choose the file and click on managed one next so if you see here it is asking you to enter the stack name ARN and the account so the stack name you can copy it from from the blog which is spinnaker I have a managed infrastructure setup. You can have your own names, no worries for that. But since uh, it's a tutorial, I just like to have it in a process way. And uh, auth earn. So if you remember this, before uh, we, when we created a managing account, the output give us some details about auth earn managing account. And we also had a copy of that. So this is the auth earn, copy this one, which was uh, created as an output of managing account. Paste it here and the account uh, ID which is this one copy and paste it and click next so we're not going to use any IAM rules next and uh, it will give you the uh, parameters which were you passed verify it once and then uh, scroll very bottom click I acknowledge and create stack so now this will create uh, the managed account uh, uh, in the um, EC2 so I'm gonna pass it for a while here as also because it's gonna take a while to complete the creation of all the accounts and resume it once the uh, um, progress is completed awesome so uh, now the spinnaker managed infrastructure setup accounts has been created and you can see the resources and stack info so to verify it you can go to uh, IAM uh, which is on the history or you can search for IAM and you can get inside and um, you can see uh, the roles spinnaker manage auth role and IAM based policy which are created and associated with it you can see the policies as well search for spinnaker and you get the policy power policy so all the policies are visible right now and you can also see the users so using this method you can create in in a in an automated way with this i'm going to conclude this tutorial in the next video i will explain you how to use this accounts and uh, have a spinnaker to configure so that will be we will be using halyard command and we will integrate the account whatever we created in aws with spinnaker right now with this i'm going to conclude this tutorial series if anything uh, questions please reach us to hello at .com. thank you